Good morning, everyone. Joel with One Great Vacation. We're headed out again, 6.30 in the morning. We're headed to Colorado Bend State Park. Evidently, the Colorado River runs through it. That's why it's called Colorado Bend, but it's in Texas. But that's another side story. Anyway, it's gonna be a glorious day, and we're out of here. Okay guys, we finally made it. It's 12.30. Took us roughly, mm, I don't know, about five hours, but we stopped and ate in Lampasas. But we have now made it to Colorado Bend State Park. Trailhead of the Gorman Falls hike. We're headed up to the falls. It's slowly drizzling, high 40 degrees. But we're going to make the best of this. Here's the trailhead. Alright, more to come. Gorman Falls Trail. Here we are. Alright, so still on the trails to the falls, there is nothing to see. <laughs> One of the things you need to be aware of on this trail is the mud if it is recently rained like it did last night on us this trail is extremely muddy and extremely slippery so be careful our first scenic overlook on this trail nice you can see down there people give it a little perspective i'll try to zoom in just to here let's go yeah that's pretty Taking a pit stop at another scenic overview. This one's not too bad either. All right, we're at the bike route versus walk route. 44 minutes to this point. Nice part of the trail, but the steepness of it's not coming through very much but it's a pretty good grade and it's really slick gets pretty steep and rocky here at the bottom at least they have guide rails for you but you slide down about half of it trying to come down so we stopped right here this is Gorman Falls from the right you look up through the woods see the water coming over the falls this is one of the tidal pools we're at the bottom of Gorman Falls water cascades down through this there's a second one right here it comes down all of it meets in this tidal pool That's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get them both in there. Yeah, a little diagonal shot here. Both of them in the frame. Falls are gorgeous. It almost looks out of focus right there. That's just the water splashing off of those rocks. It's beautiful. This is the Colorado River as it comes through Bend, Texas. That's why this is called the Colorado Bend State Park. So we think we found a cave up here. We're going to climb up and see what's in it if my wife doesn't fall on her face first. So we have found the deep, dark cave. And it goes not very much further than what you can see here. But we are on this little goat of a trail up above the water here. We're going around this side like you can see them going right there. So far not too bad. It's actually kind of exciting. 
So this is a really cool trail. We're under this rock hang. We're not too high up off the ground. Probably about 25 feet or 30. So it's not too dangerous. We're over the river. Really cool. Found a couple of small caves so far. So this is the Colorado River, seen from the edge of the river. We finally made it down. I well, still can't see that direction. There's a tree in the way. But this is the direction. That big rock's about where we came from. We walked on down here so that we could get to the edge of the river. Nice. We're on our way back. We're bound to be setting some kind of course record. Uh, you can hear me huffing and puffing. We've been speed hiking back. This is just one of the little benches that was sitting there. Thought some of the saying somebody had uh, wrote on it was kind of nice. All right, enough of that. Back to speed hiking. All right, we're back at the trailhead. <sighs> Took us, I'm gonna guess to wait 41 minutes of power hiking to get back here in that quick a time. So it's probably an hour hike if you take your time and don't rush everything. We hustled back. I didn't quite start the clock. When I started the clock, it was 30 total minutes, but I think we've been hiking five or 10 there. So uh, let's call it 40. Then we made it back. Not too bad. We have made it to Marble Falls, Texas. This is the Hampton Inn. This is where we'll be staying tonight and tomorrow night. Pretty nice little place. Right next door we have a Chili's. I don't think we're eating there tonight, but it's all right. Let's go look at the inside. This is our room at the Hampton Inn. A little bit on the small side, but hey, we just sleep here. 